Welcome back to On the Edge with me, Theo Chalmers, and my special guests, Jack Fresco and Roxanne Meadows. Right, Jack, just before the break here, you were saying, and I think I've understood this correctly, um, you were saying that computers will make the decisions. Well, what we call cybernetics, computers operate machines. If you go to an automobile company today, you'll see robots putting the wheels on and everything. The people are being moved out. Do you understand Yeah, that? but I don't want the robots telling me what wheels I want. The robot's telling you what? What wheels I want. The robots can measure things better than you can. Yeah, yeah, of course they can. But, but if, we, if we hand our power to a bunch of robots, yeah. come on. You sound That's like, a dystopia, you not see a utopia. You've a lot of lousy movies, like exactly. 1984, Brave New World, Atlas Shrugged, is written by Hollywood hacks, and they don't know how machines work, so the robots choke the designers. That's Hollywood, not reality. But I, but I don't think, well, I'm not ready to have a robot make my decisions for me. And oh, I don't I think, you know... check you... that out. Let's check it out. Okay. All right. You don't turn a generator to keep your lights going, do you? No. You assign that the robot can think you do a better job than you can. Now, in the early days, a pilot used to look out of an airplane and say, I'm about a mile high. Today, the Army took that decision away from pilots, and they have Doppler radar which hits the ground, bounces back, and says, you're 5,300 feet, three inches off the ground. No human can do that. No, and the Eurofighter, for instance, What's can't that? be flown by a human being. It has to be flown by Still. computers. It's, it's it, it so will unstable. Be in the next 10 years. Well, that's the case now. It's, they, they, they've got people in them. The pilots. Army is flying planes automatically. But the pilot still has the last word, doesn't he? The pilot says, no, we're, we're going no, down, we're going no. up, we're going down. No, the mission is the last word. In other words, they have guided missiles, and the guided missiles are set to hit a given target, and they are smart enough to sense metals and everything else, or go up the rear end of an airplane. Okay. It doesn't if, need to be steered by people anymore. So what All if the computers decide that there are too many people on the planet? No, oh, wait, what's your question? What well, do you do with overpopulation? No, no, that's not the question. The question is, what if the computers decide that there are too many people and the food supply I, won't feed I, those I people? Answer so that. would they say, oh, let's kill a few? I will answer, answer that. Computers do not do that. Computers and scientific machines are, are really extensions of human attributes, but they have no feelings. Machines don't care. If you destroy a de laptop in front of 40, they don't say, we're going to get you this month, but next month for sure. They don't care. Don't so, you understand so that? Are you saying That's then a human that, projection. Jack, are you saying then that computer programmers will rule the world? No. Not at all. They're under the guidance of the Venus Project if they agree. If they don't agree, they won't support it.